All right, here we have a diagram that shows the response of the human eye to two different conditions. Okay, I'm going to have to boogie through this one, so here we go. Diagram one, you've got a large pupil, okay, which means that this pupil is di dilated. It's big. And here we have a constricted pupil, okay. And what causes all of this? This part here is the iris. It's the colored part of your eye. So this diagram is for pupillary mechanism. Or if you just want to be good old simple, it's pupil reflex. Because it's your reflex system that will cause the pupil to constrict or to dilate. Why? Because... What do we want to do? We don't want to allow too much light into the eye because it'll damage the retina. Diagram two, we are looking at a car, two M's, O, day, shin. And that is to see from far away, so that's distant vision. Then your lens is going to be long. Or here, this is for near vision. And the lens is round. Okay, so let's look at our questions. It says identify parts A, B, C, uh, A, oh we never did that. A is the sclera, sclera, which is the white part of the eye that extends to the cornea which is going to be transparent and here's your iris. Okay, then B is the lens. I'm not going to rewrite it below here now. I'm writing it here. And C is the ciliary muscle. Okay. Now, what they what didn't ask you a label for is this here. And those are your suspensory ligaments. Now, remember, the suspensory ligaments don't stretch. That they stay as they are. So when the ciliary muscle pulls towards the suspensory ligaments, they're going to go slack. When it pulls back and relaxes, those suspensory ligaments pull tight. So then that's what helps you to accommodate from looking at something close by to look at something far away. Now it says identify and explain the process taking place in diagram one. We've already said that it's the pupillary me mechanism or it is just good old pupil reflex. Now people, it says to explain the process taking place. It is so easy. Here you've got your iris. There is your pupil. So iris and there's pupil. And what happens in the iris is it's got these muscles now they round. So the best name for those muscles are the circular muscles. Okay, but it's also got the pupil, I mean the iris also has muscles that go this way and clearly those are called radial. They're like the, radi the, the, the radius of a bike. So the radial muscles. And these muscles work antagonistically. They work opposite. So if I have my arm and I go, Pshht, these muscles contract, these must relax. Muscles work opposite. Okay. The same with your circular muscles and the radial muscles. So here we go. We are going to go from a dilated pupil, so a big pupil, to a small one. All right. So I'm going to number them. Because these are your four easiest marks you're ever going to get. Okay. Firstly, your circular muscles contract the pupil, which is this hole, constricts. So it goes small, little, little. So circular muscles contract. The pupil constricts, but what do the radial muscles do? They work opposite, so the radial muscles relax. So if circular contracts, the radial are going to relax, okay? 
And what do we have? Therefore, less light enters the eye. How easy is that? Now, I want you to look here. When you're writing your exam and you're going to go from a big pupil to a small pupil, so the person goes from a dark room to outside where it's bright, it's going to go chit. The pupil goes little. Look at my hand. You put your hand on your desk and you say the circular muscles, you see there, circular muscles contract. What happens to the size of my hand here if the circular muscles contract? What happens? It goes little. So circular muscles contract and the pupil constricts. It goes little. Okay? So therefore, a little bit of light goes through. When the circular muscles relax, what happens? The pupil is dilated. It's big. Okay, now, check here. We do the opposite. Well, let's go nice bright yellow. The, for, for, we're going, here we're going little in blue. Now we're going to go yellow is going to be when it dilates. So we're going to do the opposite. So if you learn this, so the circular muscles are going to relax. The pupil is going to dilate. The radial muscles are going to contract. And we're going to have more light entering the eye. So it dilates when it is dark. Okay? And it constricts when it is light. Okay, guys. There we go. Done, done, done. Easy. You only have to learn one. And then you automatically know the other one. Okay, and just remember, when the circular muscles, there's your C, constricts, the pupil con, uh, 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 the pupil constrict, uh, I mean, contracts, the pupil will constrict. Okay, identify the process in diagram two. We already know that it is a two C's, O, two M's, O, D, A, S, -ion, accommodation. We're going to focus from far to close. Okay. Lichle looks out of her bedroom window and sees boys playing soccer across the road. That's going to be greater or more than six meters away. Okay? She watches them for a minute and then looks back at the book she's reading. So that's going to be closer than six meters. Explain how her eyes adjust to focus back on the page in front of her. So we're going to go from, as we have in the diagram, we're going to go from distant vision, the long lens here, to near vision, okay? The nice little round lens. And this is how we are going to explain it. Okay, um, let's just go a bit bigger and done, almost done. Okay, so we have point number one, okay? The ciliary muscles contract and remember when the ciliary muscles contract they move towards the lens okay when they relax they lie back and they move away from the lens okay just like we do when we chill so they relax away from the lens they contract towards the lens okay so ciliary muscles contract okay then the sus Pensory ligaments slacken. So they get all nice and slack. And when they get slack, what's going to happen to the lens? The tension on the lens decreases. So it's not being pulled long. It's going to decrease. So what happens to the lens? The lens becomes um, more convex, which means it becomes rounder. All right? Now, when the lens is more convex and nice and round, it's going to then do what? It's going to refract the light. So we say, therefore, light rays are more refracted. What does refracted mean? It means that they are bent. So it bends the light. And 
The result of that is to focus the image onto the retina. Six marks. Thank you for coming. Now, again, the exact opposite. So here we're going to a round lens. We're looking nearby. If we want to look far, so for distant vision, this is what we're going to have, okay, in the yellow. The ciliary muscles are going to relax. The suspensory ligaments are going to become taut. Taut, or you can say they will tighten. Okay, they become tight. So when they pull tight, Shame, the tension on the lens is going to increase and it's going to pull that lens long and flat. So it's going to become less convex and it's going to be flatter. Okay, long and flat, not rounder. Therefore, the light rays are less refracted, so less bent, to focus the image onto the retina. And there you go, people. You have learned the one, the other is exactly the opposite. Just remember, a long lens is to look far. A round little lens means you look near. Okay, there we go.